Hey, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can run PHP scripts and I'm going to just give you an example of a PHP script which takes data from a form in a HTML uh, page and then basically creates a new page and presents the users with uh, what they typed in in the form uh, and also that data is going to be saved into a CSV file so uh, you can review the contents later. So let's get into it. The first thing you're going to need to do is install the Apache server. Uh, I'm using the one which is on the apachefriends.org website. It's called XAMP. Uh, download it for your uh, particular um, operating system. I'm using the OS X version. Uh, it works in a very similar way for Windows. I haven't tried it on Linux, but I'm sure it's very easy to use as well. Uh, once you've downloaded it and installed it, you're going to need to run it. Um, so I'll just launch my, uh, my shortcut here. Um, and you'll be asked to type in a password so uh, do that okay so what you're going to need to do is manage the servers now I'm just going to turn on the Apache one only um, don't worry about all the configuration files it's all fairly stra uh, standard and straightforward um, I'm just going to go with start and when this is ready uh, I'll show you what to do next so it doesn't take a few moments there it is, it's ready, it's on green, so we'll just minimize that. The thing that you've got to do is uh, open up your files in, uh, or put your, your web pages into a folder uh, called htdocs. Now, in order for me to get that, I have to go into my applications window, go to the XAMPP folder, uh, and then click on htdocs. So that's basically like the shortcut for it. In that folder, I created a uh, folder called sites and this is where I'm going to be putting my work. Everything that goes into the HD docs is basically accessible via a tab uh, on your browser and typing in 127.0.0.1 uh, click OK um, and this takes you to like the uh, sort of their, their their website but it's not it's on your computer. Now in order to get to my things uh, I just need to go to forward slash sites and then my uh, content is there. Whoops. My content is there. I didn't mean to do all the other bits. Okay, so these are my these are my folders, and you'll see that they, that matches up with the folders that you can see here. If I click on PHP, uh, I'm actually taken to the index HTML page by default, which is this one here. So this is my index.html. This is the the page that contains the 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 form. And in this form, I've got an in uh, what you call them, a text box, uh, a drop down list, and a submit button. I've also got a, uh, a form, uh, form.php, and uh, we're going to take a look at that in a moment. I've also got a CSV file called form, and at the moment in here it doesn't contain very much, it just contains um, ooh, stuff from testing there uh, name and choice. So these are the only two things I've got in here um, basically, the titles of my CSV file. Let's take a look at the code for the web uh, web page. Um, actually, no. Let's let's show you show you it running first. Uh, so I'll type in a name. Let's put Andy there uh, and Formula One. I'm going to click submit form, and it opens up a new tab, and it just says thank you for your email, and it just confirms what I typed in, Andy and Formula One. You'll notice when you look at this form here, if we go to the, the title, there's nothing there. But basically, I'm looking at index.html. When I'm looking at this page. I'm looking at form.php. So when I clicked on the submit button, what happened was this data from this form was passed across into the form.php page and then presented to me. Um, and if we take a look at the contents of the form here, we go to text edit, um, you can see that the data was passed in. Okay, um, so Andy and Formula One. So Let's take a look at what's actually going on here. I'll close that one down. So here's the code. On the left hand side I've got my index.html file and it's a very basic file. It's a standard HTML form. Uh, in the body I've got a form. Um, the form uh, contains two types of elements, or three actually. An input of, uh, or a text input, uh, in which I've called it name. And I've also got a drop down selection box. Uh, and I've called that selection box choice and it contains five values football, rugby, Formula 1, hockey and tennis. 
The final thing in my form is a submit button. Um, now what happens is when I click that submit button, two values are taken, the value for name, which is inside the text box, and the value for choice. And the value of choice is dependent upon which value the user has selected. When I click submit, what happens is the action of the form, which is here, this action of the form says when that submit button is pressed, what you want to do is you want to call and open up the form.php file. And I've told it to open it up in a blank page, so a new page, that's why it makes a new tab. That's what target equals underscore blank is. And I've also said use the method post. And I'll talk about post in a different uh, video, but there are two methods really, there's get and post. Most of the time people use post. Uh, when you use get, it's mildly less secure really, um, because the, the values are put into the, the URL. But I'm hiding those values from the URL by using post. Um, right, so that's the index that's the index.html page. That's the page with my form. Let's look at the PHP script. Now you'll notice that it actually is HTML content. But in between the HTML content, I've got some special tags, these PHP tags, question mark, PHP, and close, uh, question mark and close. That's that's a part of the PHP script. And I've, done, I've got a couple of those. One, well, this part here is about collecting the data from the index page uh, and then putting it into the CSV file. This part is about echoing the messages out to the user. So um, I didn't really actually have to put this one in a, I didn't have to put this one into uh, a PHP script. I could just write, thank you for your email. Um, but I've got a couple of things it's echoed. It's echoing their name and their choice. So let's take a look, a closer look at this code. When this form is uh, run, what happens is uh, I've created a variable called name and the value that goes into name is equal to the thing that is posted from the index page on this side and that carries the the uh, the name name. Um, in this case, I called this name here. If I called this hippo here, if I put hippo here, this would have to be hippo. I just call it name because it represents the person's name. The same thing happens with choice. Choice is equal to whatever was posted from the previous page that carried the name choice. And the name here is choice, so it's going to be carrying one of these values: football rugby, Formula One, hockey or tennis. Um, what happens then is uh, at this point on this page I create a, a variable called f and it's just going to carry some information to deal with putting the data into the CSV file. So I'm going to open up a file called csv, form.csv and I'm going to run it in append mode. Basically that means add new content to the file CSV, don't override it, just add it to the end. And I'm putting the data, uh, I'm calling this function called fputCSV. Which file do I want to put it in? Well, that's the form in append mode. And what am I going to do? I'm going to put data in. Data up here is basically a string of um, uh, the name and the choice and a new line character. It's just, it's those elements and they're going to go into uh, my CSV file um, and once I've put the data into the CSV file I'm just going to close that file F close close that file which I called F uh, which was originally opening the form.csv file um, it then just echoes out thank you for your email and then echoes out their name and their choice so let's just take another look at this in action let's put in another person's name here uh, let's go Sam uh, Sam likes football I'm going to click submit. It opens up a new tab. It says, thank you for your email, Sam, football. And then when I take a look at the um, form here, let's open it up with text edit again. You'll see that it says Sam, football. Uh, so the data is just going into the CSV file. Uh, I could open it up in a, an Excel sheet and you'll see it's going in there. Uh, my, my first one and the second one. And that's it. Um, very short introduction into uh, PHP and how it works, but I'm going to do a whole series on these as we go along. See you later.